Hey guys, what's up? It's Justin here. And I just want to say first of all, thanks a lot for all the support I've gotten over the past almost two years now. And a lot of people have asked me a lot of questions. Man, like with all that scandal and all these people attacking you or attacking the whole pickup community, like are you okay? Like do you, you know, are you able to walk? Are you able to survive? Can you still meet girls? So there's a lot of questions I've been getting. And the first, so before I go into that, first of all, I just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart. Uh, honestly, apologize to my fans who've been looking up to me. So what's my flaw? What did I do wrong? I, mean, I just didn't care anymore about my audience. I didn't even care anymore about Wayne Dating as a company. It was obvious. If you were just a Wayne fan, you kind of knew it from my custom support. You could tell that I just wasn't really there. And I also had addictions that I had to deal with, okay? So let's go into everything, right? Number one question is, of course, everybody wants to know, is Justin, are you fake, right? Did you ever fake an infield video, okay? The answer to that question is no. I've never faked an infill video ever, never had to. To be honest, and I don't want to sound cocky, but meeting women is actually very easy for me. You know, I've been, I'm a confident guy. I used to be a street salesman in New York City, you know, even before I really strongly got into the pickup scene. So no, I have no problem meeting women at this point for years, right? Number two, there is no evidence of me ever like hiring girls to be in an infield pickup video or anything like that. Now, the other question would be, hey, Justin, I saw you were arguing with a girl on camera and you guys argued about money. Is that evidence that you paid her to pretend to be your girlfriend and to actually get a real tattoo? Because again, there's needles going in. A real tattoo, do you pay her to pretend to be that? The answer again is no, okay? Um, there is no reason for me to ever have to pay a girl to pretend to be my girlfriend. Of course, a lot of people who already know me already know this in my real life. But in general, I, I just couldn't do that. That's just, first of all, I don't have the money for that. Number two, there's a lot of better jobs any girl can get. Like she's, a girl technically is better off just having sex privately with a bunch of wealthy businessmen, you know, privately than publicly getting a tattoo of some guy's, random guy's name on it. I don't think I'll be able to even pull that off to begin with. If you know the inner workings of how a beautiful world thinks and her options that she's already offered, it's not much value for a pretty enough girl who can get other guys and have other situations and get money in multiple different ways to do a public stunt like that. So no, all the girls that tattooed my name, they tattooed my name because they were really in love with me. We had real relationships, still have real relationships with some of these girls. Even the same girl that people claimed was a paid actress, she's in my life all the time. Hey, what's up guys? I just woke up and today I'm gonna to show you guys a full rundown of how my general days look. People were just like, they wanna kind of like, okay, you know what, let me see how your lifestyle is day to day because it's kind of like hard to believe that some of these girls that you've been with for years are still in your life and like just everything. So I'm just gonna kind of show like my actual lifestyle just because a lot of you guys asked me to. So today I might actually meet up with like around three or four of the tattoo girls um, because there's a lot of people asking me to see my lifestyle and stuff like that, I don't mind. All right, so that basically wraps things up with Kelly, but now I'm gonna actually meet up with Jenny, which is another one of the tattoo girls. I mean, Jenny's been together for like three years now. All right, so right now we're going to get some steak. Um, and man, I just love this view. God damn, look how amazing this view is, man. It's so fucking cool. Uh, yeah, hang out with this lovely lady. You know, so I never use like steak at all, but you know, sometimes you just have that one high quality steak. One of my favorite steaks is Wolfgang. Cool, good experience with me and lovely Jenny. And we're getting that nice Perrier, man. Oh man, that was so good. Um, the steak is right here, man. I just love a really well done steak. So I saw Kelly first, you know, had some breakfast. Oh, she ate breakfast, I just chilled. Then after that, I hung out with Jenny, right? So those are two girls, and those are two tattoo girls. Again, it's everyday life so far. 
All right, guys, so it's around 8 p.m. now, and I'm gonna meet up with Jessie. She's coming over here soon. We're gonna have a good time and chill out. Now, I've known her for about a month. Oh, so, right. so right now, I'm just chilling out with this lovely lady. She's so adorable, look at her, right? <laughs> Adorable. Seriously, like, I've probably known you for like a month now, right? Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, we chill. So yeah, I mean, she's adorable. She has like a beautiful body, beautiful curvature, and stuff like that. Just chill. Like, almost imagine like a vlog. Even though it's not really a vlog, but, you know. All right, so right now we're going to the other spot because um, it has better ambience, and yes, people. So I'm gonna ask you something. Why are you so dressed? Are you go where are you going? Uh, right now, I know she looks way better than me. She's dressed way better than me, right? But like basically she's gonna hang out with some cool people afterwards, you know, some nice celebs, I guess, you know, you know type of girl, you know? <sighs> All right, so yeah, so right now we're just chilling out, going up to just relax, chill, shoot the shit, work on things, you know? Wow. Nice, romantic. So this is another angle. So anyways, man, um, I'm saying goodnight to you. Goodnight. You know, but uh, yes. beauty chill. Yeah, that's so. Besos or besos? Besos. Besos, okay. Yeah, I'm learning Spanish and stuff like that. But you're, you're really Arab, man. You're Arab Spanish. That's fucking cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so basically, I'm actually waiting for the fourth girl. Her name is Daniela. She's super chill, super cool as well. Um, you know, and again, I met her also a month ago, pretty much like in the same week I met the other girl. All right, so anyways, right now I'm chilling with this lovely lady. And uh, yeah, we're just chilling out, having a good time, relaxing, chilling, you know? Wow, look at you, look nice, Ooh, right? Very nice. And uh, basically like, you know, what I like about her is that she's super understanding, you know, we talk, we keep it real with each other, and she's just a cool chick, that's all. Really super cool. Football, Ooh. man. What Ooh, team do you like? What team, what, what team do you want? Um, Real Madrid. I like Liverpool. soccer. Liverpool? Liverpool. No. We're gonna fight. Barcelona. We're gonna fight, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm pretty exhausted now, but now I'm gonna meet with uh, Elaine, the fifth girl. It's gonna be Elaine Wayne now. Elaine Wayne is like the, one of the first girlfriends I've ever shown since 2012. You know, and she's a girl also tattooed my name as well. And, you know, I didn't show her for years. A lot of people thought, oh, she broke up with me and all that stuff, but she was always around. She's still in my life today. Hi, come on, I look shit. You look like shit. You look yeah. amazing. Awesome, man. Hi, right, you're here. This is about memories, it's not about how you look. This is about memories, man. Okay. You know? Why are you recording, girl? Which, which place you want to go? So I know that for a fact. Okay, so now this is like really, this really is, strong. Yeah, light. that's the best lighting. You want to be in the, the brightest light. Lighting is everything. You want to be like facing like right here. Wait, this way, this way. Like, facing the light. You're okay. Facing the light. Because if you're in the dim area, this looks weird. I know you like the dark, sultry vibes, but that shit doesn't look good on camera. Then know what? That amongst were orange to raise the vibration because it's the highest um, vibration, vibrational color. Okay, cool, cool. Not a really nice color. I look color. like shit. I just like put stuff over my face. You're, you're like, come girl. on. You're beautiful. Don't let, don't let anyone tell you anything. I know I'm beautiful. That's not oh, the Oh, okay. That's no, no, I'm not, it's not about you. It's about the colors. It's about I know, right? It's, a, it's nice. I know. So it's about 12 o'clock now. Um, I've pretty much wrapped things up. Kind of burned out. So that's like five in the day. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go to sleep, chill out, and just fucking relax with her and uh, Michelle. Anyways, hope you enjoy. But the point is that, no, there's, I, there's no reason for that. So that's the truth as well. Sure, if that's the only argument is that because I had an argument about some money situation with a girl. Now I also want to be honest too about that situation as well. Any one of my fans who are smart enough to see, that specific girl has always been kind of like a, a very naturally emotional girl that has like, you know, she just, she just, that's the way she deals with things in general. And that was one disadvantage with our relationship. So if you notice like in a lot of the videos, like uh, the first video I actually showcased with her and the other girl called Mary Jane, I mean, she was the instigator. She started instigating on Mary Jane, telling her, oh, he loves me more and all this stuff. And because of that, there was a problem. So she always instigates problems. Hey, what's up? You tell me, for real. You fucked you yesterday? Feels uncomfortable. You say you feel uncomfortable being around her too? You both feel uncomfortable being around each other? How do I fix it? How do I fix it? Tell me. <laughs> no, no, I'm just asking. Whoever doesn't like it, you can just walk away. That's it. I'm not forcing anyone to do anything they don't want to do. So 
all I'm gonna say. Like, he's not just a pickup artist, he's like their dad or something. <laughs> There's another case that I showed also, which was when I, beat, when I met uh, a beautiful Arab woman and I started keeping her in my life as well, and I was honestly telling her who I was. And, that, and Kelly started arguing with her too, and the Arab woman even came to me, she was like, you know, like, hey, she keep, you know, like, you know, I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, like, she, she, she's not getting along with me. And I basically had to tell both of them, hey, listen, you guys need to calm down, stop arguing, hug each other, right, and just, Let's keep everything on the table here. Just everyone needs to respect each other. It's all about love and respect here. I actually had to do that. Nice to meet you. And I met on the street and uh, I think I asked the uh, juice, juice places. Not in front of me, you should talk with me. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. What? You feel funny. I'm, I'm not nice. You know, don't go on her level at all, you know, because she was talking. Communication is so important. That's important. That's the only way something could really last. Communication, okay? That's what we gotta do. Please, you know, give each other a hug, you know, like the greetings. In my culture, you should like send that when you see somebody. These were much, this was much before that video hit anyways. So, you know, it's not hard to believe that we can be arguing about anything. Also, the main thing that she was, up, that she was upset about wasn't really money. It was the fact that a girl that she doesn't really like, she thought that that girl messed up her shit, messed up her belongings, right? And I was just like, man, let's just get this video out the way so that way we can move on. I don't want to deal with this right now. I told you I'll take care of that, you know? Whatever I have to do, I'll take care of that. It's not a big deal. Let's just get on with the video. That's all it was. But again, nothing can replace, like, you know, a, a quick argument cannot replace years and years and years of her being with me, tattooing my name, and she's not the only one. And people might say, well, it's because she's foreign and whatever, and I'm a sex trafficker, all kind of crazy nonsense, like, I have no idea even what sex trafficking is and how to do it. I don't even, I'm not even in that subculture. I don't understand it whatsoever. Um, you know, again, my first girlfriend I showcased was Elaine. She's a beautiful American girl in a crime and we still are connected up to today, okay? And this was in 2012. She got the tattoo. Right now, she's still in my life today. We get along very well, as you can see. So like, it's just funny. And of course, some people might ask if I have a baby with her. I'm not gonna comment on that right now, but Look, the point is that like, it's just ridiculous how much, you know, attack, you know, the whole community came on me, whatever. But here's the thing, I'm cool with it. I'm comfortable with that. I deserve it. That's the crazy part. I actually deserve all the chaos I got. And I'll tell you why. It's because I didn't focus on the most important thing, which was my clients, which was showcasing my clients' results. Now, I always was getting clients' results, right? I've always been able to do that. But the problem was that like, I was just trying to like, I didn't know what to do. I was like, man, let me just continue showing my approaches, right? Um, but I never really thought about it in that kind of way where maybe people don't care about me that much. They want to see if I can teach this, right? So a lot of the arguments about me used to be that I also can't teach it, even if I was real, how much people can I teach this to? And the truth is, I've gotten a lot of people results, hundreds. I actually have case studies, I actually have like, you know, damn near a hundred videos of like infills with guys of my students taking girls home, getting girlfriends. Like for example, like I have a guy, Nick, who did my coaching program with me and you know, he lost his virginity in the beginning, but then years later he rejoined me again to learn the, the lock-in process, which is how to get girls super devoted to you where they would even tattoo your name if you wanted to, right? That's what he wanted to know and I was able to teach him that too. I was able to teach my wisdom to him and look at his results. Now he's able to get the exact type of girl he wants and he's happy with her and she even tattooed his initials on her body, right? To show her a devoted love to him. You know what I mean? And you can see the needles going in this video and everything. Like, so, you know, I should have been more focused on that, right? Instead of like just showcasing myself because it made me look cocky, made me look like an asshole. And to be honest, I probably was an asshole when I was younger in my dating, in my pickup career in certain ways, especially as a YouTuber. I just did a lot of dumb shit and I, I want to apologize for that for some of my fans and just to, my, just to myself now because I, I actually even cringe at some of the videos I used to do. Uh, it's just the way we used to talk about things or whatever. So I, I'm just letting you guys know the truth is like, yes, that part I am sorry about and that's like where I did went wrong. I was so just focused on just like entertainment and just like going moving forward that I didn't focus on, the, on my client's results that I, that I was getting. Like I remember my business partner said, dude, you got so much people results, you should focus on, on showcasing that. 
So that's one mistake I made. The other thing I mistake I made was not paying attention to the climate of how things changed from 2012 to 2018. Like 2018, you know, uh, YouTube channels are getting taken down left and right. Maybe this one might get taken down, but whatever, I don't care at this point anymore. But like that was something new to me and I was so lost in my own world and that's what happened. Now, thirdly, my third thing I want to admit to you guys that you guys didn't know, I had a lot of addiction problems, um, almost like gambling, uh, but you know, I used to have like, honestly, I had like a sexual addiction problem where I just like, I just was having sex, 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 and just, I, it was just a very numbing experience for me. I wasn't happy at certain points in my life during that time, right before the scandal happened or whatever, and even after, like, I, I just was addicted to certain things, and so I had to really restructure my life. So after all that drama, what actually happened to me? Like, you know, how was my life? Was it really affected? Did it take a hit? Did I go crazy? Or no. I'll tell you guys the truth. Here's the truth, okay? This is one thing that you guys don't know about. In my situation, there was no issue. Basically, all I did, my lawyer told me to remove my channel and, and just you know, stay within the spotlight, let people, do, let people say what they want, and that's all I did. And to me, to be honest, I'll be honest, here's the secret. The reason why it was so easy for me just to walk away, first of all, I'm an introvert, right? So I don't really need a lot of people to like me to be happy. I never really did, okay? So the fact that in my life, my personal life, I have a lot of great friends that look out for me, that care for me. I have a lot of loyal fans that are always there for me. I've had a lot of clients that have helped that will never let me go hungry. Will ne so I have an amazing support system. I mean, of course the world doesn't know that. They have no idea, but that's the truth. And, more important, and, and also too, I have a bunch of women in my life that they understand me, they understand who I am, and they're always with me. So the, another question two people ask is, does this affect my dating life? No, this has not affected my dating life whatsoever because the way I usually meet women, it's not through social media. I don't even use social media to meet women. So if I meet a girl on the street or through or anywhere, right, she's gonna get to know me first, she's gonna fall in love with me, and we're gonna have a great time, so nothing matters. And then I just show her, I just show her, hey, check out this stupid shit that people said about me. Now remember the dating coach thing? Let me show you, right? And then she's like laughing and she's making out with me, she loves me, it doesn't fucking matter. So no, if it didn't matter before, when girls tattooed my name, I mean, I was getting bashed all the time, that's from Vice, I was always getting bashed. All my comments, I was always getting bashed. Um, but in hot girl land, hot girls think different, they don't care, they're not like, you know, less attractive girls like bitching around. Like, so like, I don't really have those issues. Like I don't really have to deal with that, okay? So I didn't have any social issues dealing with. When I walk on the street, I walk comfortably, like no guy or anyone ever approaches me and tell me anything at all. Like I, and I walk, I'm like in New York walking, I'm, I'm sitting down comfortably. So there's never been any situation like that, you know? So I just let you guys know, like in that, in that, from that perspective, that didn't really like, it didn't affect my personal life whatsoever. I still had a good time. Um, but and some other stuff I want to tell you too is another thing that I did focus on was uh, my health. You know, I had some health issues. Like I was like diabetic and a bunch of stuff as well because I used to eat a lot of shit. Also, I was like a really just like a unhealthy guy. You can kind of tell in my past videos. So at this point, you know, I was able to lose all my weight and stay healthy. So during that you know two month to that two year period, I really just decided to focus on you know, the other parts of my life, right? I already had women, I already had dating to a science. I had no issues with dating, never had dating issues in my life again. So my next focus was my health and that's why I focused on strongly. And I learned so much things. I've, I've studied like hours, hours every day of health, just learning, learning how to eat, trying different diets. I fasted for 21 days. I, I did this diet, that diet, the other diet. I've helped, I started helping people lose weight. And I don't even want to be, a, I'm not even trying to be like a weight loss coach or anything like that, but I've started learning so many things because again, if you can learn dating, you can learn a lot of other stuff as well. So that was fun. Um, I was also was spending time with my spirituality and reconnecting. Actually was celibate for a while. I just refused to have sex with any of my girls to focus on myself during the fasting stages and even after, just so that way I can get pure and kind of re rewire my mind to appreciate women more and appreciate their presence. Because believe it or not, like while everyone was like trying to say I'm fake and like, oh, I'm a virgin or whatever, like my real problem was sex addiction because I had so much of these girls so loyal to me and so much girls in my life always, constantly, that I just became very numb to sex. I couldn't really enjoy sex as much anymore. I just felt very tired and just, and also my diet, I was just out, my whole health was a mess and I was just a, a, a emotional, I was just emotionally like tired and just burned out and I didn't appreciate anything anymore. So I really needed to take a break and I was able to fast, refocus my health, everything and replenish and I'm way happier, way better. And after that I started focusing on uh, business and lifestyle and how to make money while just like living a normal life. 
how to try to create a lifestyle that I wanted to create and stuff. So I was focused on many different as aspects of my life, then, uh, and that's what I did. And I actually was really happy for the break because honestly, like at that time, dating was like the dating community being in the social media is not for me. I still don't like being in social media. Um, I'm sure I can do it if I really practice, but it's not really my thing. But yeah, I just wanted to be a lot of people asking me questions. I just wanted to say my truth and just say it out there sloppily or whatever. And that's the bottom line, um, you know, and that's pretty much it. So yeah, I just wanted to address most of the questions that I've heard so far. And I'm sure I, I could do a few more videos. In terms of my plans of being a dating coach, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't really know if I plan on being a dating coach for a very long time. But what I will do is a lot of people have been asking me, like they saw the results that Nick got, for example, and Alex got, you know, Alex is another guy of mine who got, has like, was able to have like multiple girls and multiple girlfriends and stuff like that as well. Uh, a lot of people asking me, hey, the one thing about Justin Wayne that stood out was, even though it's the most controversial aspect to him, was the idea that he has all these girls that commit to him, tattoo his name, whatever, like, you know, that he showed eight publicly that done that for him. Like, you know, how did that happen, right? How does that happen? Can it be taught? Can he teach it? And the answer is yes, as you can see, this is living proof through Nick. And there's a few other people that didn't really want to be uh, broadcasted, which I totally respect. But yes, I've been, I can teach this. This is something that I came up with myself and I've helped, I've been, coach, I've been coaching for over 10 years. So yeah, I mean, I could definitely teach it. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And in terms of what my haters think, I don't care. I'm just talking to people that really want to hear and I don't really care what anyone thinks. And I just want to remind one people too, like people ask me about like, um, how do I deal with negativity and stuff? I'll, I'll be honest, since 2012, I've been hated. Like before I even began my YouTube channel, there's like a lot of blogs about me being fake, hiring actresses, all that stuff, just because my results seemed better than everyone else's at that time or whoever was talking about me, right? So then that happened and you know, I didn't care. I just continued making videos, right? I just showed my results. I didn't give a shit. And I did the mall video and that was successful in XYZ. So after I did that, right, then um, other people attacked me and attacked me. So no matter what, I've always been attacked. I'm accustomed to it, I'm used to it. It's been since even 2010 actually, my first time being attacked. Even before, when I had a simple blog, I wasn't even a YouTuber, 2010. I, you know, there was a video of me, you know, approaching this beautiful girl, making out with her, taking her home, whatever, whatever. Um, and you know, I was on this forum and they were just trashing me. Oh, this guy is definitely, she's definitely an actress, all this stuff. Um, so that's basically the story of my life. People always would say that, but not just about me. They say it about everyone. Like I've seen everyone says everyone's fake. Uh, so I don't really care at all. I don't give a shit. Like enough people like me, enough people will be with me. And when I go home at nights, I'm not the one who's struggling with women who has a girl that's not seeing them or whatever. I'm coming home to lots of beautiful women, every type imaginable that love to see me. And also a lot of friends and clients that I've gotten results with as well, for as well who respect me for getting the results, so they're willing to do anything for me as well. So I have a really great circle, man. I walk around comfortable and good. There's no issues in my personal life in that kind of way. I do regret some of the childish and silliness that I kind of had and you know, at that time, but I was younger and I kind of wanted to make a more raw, raunchy channel at that time and it, it served its purpose at that time, but I'm no longer be that raw anymore because you know, I'm a different guy anyways. I'm a little bit more polished, more sophisticated, older, and I have all this experience now. And I kind of, I grew out of my, I grew out of that guy a long time ago, which is one of the reasons why I had to take a break from Justin Wayne Dating because I felt like, you know, who I was going into as a mature individual was no longer the kind of like fun guy, just like doing a lot of fun, fun, crazy shit. So um, I'm still the same guy, but I just, the way I'm gonna go about things will be a lot different. And in terms of me being a coach, so if you guys wanna hear more about me, get a coaching call from me, just click the link down below and uh, maybe we can do a coaching call and find out like what some of your problems are on dating. And I think the number one thing that guys really want to know is uh, how to get the exact type of woman they want. I'm sure that's what you want to know as well. And I'm going to do, uh, I have a nice video that talks about that down below for those who want to know about that. Because I'm not going to post that much videos on YouTube just because I just know that YouTube's, you know, my channel's going to go down at some point. I don't give a shit. It is what it is, right? Like, I don't care. Like, I, I walked away for two years because I can do whatever I fucking want. I can make money a thousand different ways. I can fucking make, get girls no matter what. And I'm good no matter what I do, right? So I don't care about the YouTube channel that much anymore anyway. So. Um, but so I'm gonna see if you guys want my content, you're gonna have to go sign down below and to see all the cool stuff. Take care.